President Artist Tori Wires is here to talk about collecting colors from something you probably have sitting in your house right now, magazines, right? Yes. Okay, so creating a color palette is really important because because it's really the foundation for a lot of the work that you do, and it really gets you out of the box with colors as well. Okay, so how do we get started? So I have a lot of magazines stacking up in my house. <laughs> Me too. Constantly, and I'm always looking for new ways to use them. I use them in art journals and sketchbooks all over the place, but a new way is to really collect some colors. So looking through pages and just ripping out anything that you think is a fun color. I actually like this little pink here. Putting that down. Maybe so you're not taking the whole scheme from the page. You're just picking a couple colors that you like to mm -hmm. use for inspiration. Yeah, and really just going through, and it's really fun when you just flip through the magazine and just allow any colors that jump out at you to be what you pick out. Cool. And are you thinking about how they go together at all, or are you just grabbing what you like? I am not. When I'm really trying to push myself to think outside the box when color, I go through multiple magazines and just pick a bunch of little scraps I like and then just throw them on a page together. Cool. So now you're going to glue them down, mm -hmm. and you're just using a glue stick. And glue I assume stick. that this is so that you can, this is how you, the beginning of working with them and your sketchbook starts. Yes. So... Unlike using paint as little swatches and mixing, you're essentially starting with magazines that you really can't control because whatever's printed on there is what you're going to find. And it's starting as kind of a source for inspiration, and then we get to paint. Cool. So I noticed that you did label some of your magazine scraps. So what are those labels? So I'm kind of approximating a color that I might have in kind of my palette of colors. So the soft pink, candy red, and deep blue also kind of start to bring a little inspiration to mind. So how would you name these colors that we have here? I would call this one, let's say candy stripe. Oh, so we're even getting a little pattern in here. Yes. Um, lipstick. Mm-hmm. And I would say gray green. Cool. So you're not like looking at tubes of paint or something to find these colors. These are just when you look at them, if you were going to name them, what would you call them? Yes. So then after I get that started, it really is kind of looking at some paint and mixing in some of what I have to get things going. So I see you don't even have a green there, but you've made a green by mixing your blue, your yellow, and your white. Yes. And that really looks so much <laughs> like that gray green. That's really cool. Yeah, so looking at how you can kind of get things going, I think sometimes adding paint right to the page too. I'm just gonna go right go for it, girl. with that red. And so obviously you cleaned off your brush because you don't want that green to contaminate it, but that feels mm -hmm. like lipstick to me. Mm-hmm. And then- I'm so curious about how you're gonna do the candy stripe. Well, I'm gonna add a little white paint on here. I have okay. a lot of red in my brush, but sometimes that's okay. You get a little, a little interest that way sometimes. Um, and I might just put some white paint and... A little bit of a pink tinge, actually, because of the red. I'm actually going to pick up a little of that previous green and add that in there, because there's a little grayness to that. Interesting. So and this then... is really about breaking down colors in almost an abstract way. Mm-hmm. I might just add a little bit of permanent marker, this India ink, just to kind of get that essence of what's going on there. And there's some marks in there that are happening right there. Cool. So, and then taking these for inspiration in a final piece, um, okay. I could take those marks, I could take those colors, I could do more swatching, a little doodling like I did on this one, and it really starts to be a place where you don't expect to come from, where you end up. Well, I was gonna say, we have one here that's a great example, which is you told me that we are using this one right here, mm -hmm. and these are the pieces that you cut out of the magazine, and then this was your color study of those colors, and I can see how how you did that and even got some of the texture here, which is really cool. And then this is the finished art piece that you made based on this color scheme. Yes, so it really comes full circle, comes to life, and you can see some of the texture again in here, and some of these little lines come to life in this finished piece. That is super cool and great inspiration for us. Thank you so much, Tori, this was fantastic.